so destiny has brought me back to delhi and don't get me wrong i'm not getting married it's hero's new scooter the destiny 125 we are here to witness its launch and after that i'm going to take a quick spin let's see how it's going to be So as promised Hero gave us a scooter for a short time and we are out here taking a quick spin and seeing what this scooter is all about. At a quick glimpse you can make out that this scooter is a combination of both the older Maestro and the Duet. From the rear it's a complete Maestro right there and from the front it's a Duet. So quite a lot of styling elements borrowed from the older scooters and this scooter still looks fresh. So this scooter is available in two variants an LX variant and a VX variant. Well we have been riding the VX variant all day long and what it gets is body color mirrors chrome treatments here and there and cast aluminum alloy wheels this variant also gets a dual color seat well it does not make much of a difference but it looks pretty classy over here The Destiny 125 gets an analog plus a digital instrument cluster. However, this cluster is similar to the one we have seen on the Maestro. The design is completely different. Analog meter shows the speed, while all the other details are consumed within the small digital unit. So, Hero Motor Corp has their own Hinau start-stop system, which is used in their motorcycles to increase mileage. However, this system is implemented for the first time in a scooter. Now, this one gets an I3S switch, which comes in very handy if you get into a start-stop condition. The engine will shut off completely if you come to a complete standstill. All you have to do is press the brake lever, throttle a little, and the engine will turn back on, and you can get going. This 125cc motor is the first 125cc produced by Hero Motor Corp and this one is an in-house engine. It produces 8.7 bhp of power and 10.2 Nm of torque. However, these numbers come quite early compared to the other 125cc, but this scooter only has a very strong mid-range. There's no much punch in that low end, there's no good top end. It has a very strong mid-range though. The ergonomics and the comfort have been taken from the older scooters from Hero just like the Duet and the Maestro. So all you do is you sit very comfortably there's good amount of space near your footboard and the seat cushioning is very nice for the pillion as well. However the handlebars get a little heavy if you have a pillion sitting behind and the grab rails too are pretty comfortable. Just like the Maestro this one gets telescopic suspension at the front and a single side suspension at the rear. 10 inch wheels with MRF rubber do duty on this scooter while well, some of the test scooters were also equipped with TVS rubber and C8 rubber too. You get combi brake system however even on the top variant you don't get an option to get a disc brake at the front. Braking feedback is pretty decent as the grip from the tires is good enough and the feedback makes you stop whenever needed. The price at which the Hero Destiny has been launched undercuts all the 125cc scooters in the Indian segment. However, this pricing is convincing only because you don't get much hardware on this scooter. Only LED you get is another seat and there's a USB charging port too. From the front headlamp to the rear tail lamp and even the indicators they are all halogen bulbs. One more addition that we can notice is that from the key slot itself you can open the boot as well as the fuel lid. If you go ahead and look into detail you would find out there is good amount of cost cutting visible. However, the build quality is pretty nice. So if you want a quicker update from 110cc to 125cc but not want to spend much this is the scooter you should go for